talking about the uh, edition for february in kurukshetra focusing on rural development and empowerment so we need to understand nearly 65% of the population is under 35 years of age which is a significantly higher proportion and 70% of the youth population includes the rural youth so bringing in opportunities for rural india and the rural youth is very very important we have various industrial training institutes the district skill uh, centers atal innovation measures that have come up through adult tinkering labs in the schools which have been important now some of those schemes we would be discussing those today a lot of those we have discussed through most of our lectures so the first is national skill development mission which aims to train nearly 1 crore youth every year then we have deen dayal upadhyay gramin kaushal yojana which talks about skill and placement initiatives for rural india antodaya anna mission which talks about promoting rural livelihood uh, and uh, in improving the lifestyle in the rural area we also focus on a platform which is known as unnati very very important it is a digital livelihood access platform established in collaboration with uh, ministry for small and medium enterprise along with niti aayog and ministry of labor now uh, support have come from corporate section as well the idea is to provide potentials to connect the blue and the gray work uh, collar work uh, zones in india a scene is again an important development recent and will be uh, probably part of your question paper so a scene is atmanirbhar skill employee employer mapping now when uh, labor migration started during the covid time there was an idea to start the database for the labor migrants those who return to the region and what jobs they would be looking for so it's a platform to bridge in the gap between demand and supply and the best way is to have a mapping for employee versus the employer so this is the asim and it is a digital platform very important for this class the next is digital india campaign we have seen digital savvy youth nowadays very very well versed with mobile equipments uh, internet so we have numerous associated developments for example common service centers uh, direct benefit scheme digi lockers mobile based services through umang app and then we have initiatives through aadhar what we need to do is develop more centers in rural area for example let's play is an action plan where we focus on achieving nearly 50 olympic medals in 2016 olympics and for this what uh, the uh, in 2024 olympics and this was brought about in 2016 the idea is to bring in more sport academies to increase the school expenditure on Uh, sports and enhance the sport infrastructure khelo india youth games have been organized the idea is uh, to promote the indigenous games like kho kho kabaddi uh, malakhamb and those are some of the games that are to be promoted then when it comes to agriculture agriculture contributes to 17% of the gdp 13% export and 55% employment so developments in agriculture are really important again rural urban migration is a big concern a rural population is set to reach 600 million by 2030 so a better livelihood is important and what could be the factors that could be promoted how white collar jobs could be taken into account now in india there is an interesting fact we have an average age of the indian population which is 29 years but when it comes to farmer it is 55 years that means most of the youth move out of the agriculture and they are trying to find out alternate ways of uh, revenue generation now to attract youth back to the agriculture what needs to be done diversification in the cropping pattern bringing in low volume high value crops and demand driven output is very very important so establishment of agricultural clinics uh, agri business units are important then we have another schemes arya to maya arya is attracting and retaining youth in agriculture as we have seen the average age for farmers is 55 years if we want to reduce it we need to bring in activities which would promote or encourage youth to remain in agriculture and in rural area so micro enterprise as vocation bringing in apiculture bringing in sericulture bringing in poultry dairy uh, 
फूड प्रोसेसिंग गोट एनिमल हजबेंड्री कम्पोस्ट वर्मी कम्पोस्टिंग आर सम ऑफ द एरियाज एंड क्रिएटिंग इकोनॉमिक मॉडल्स इन विलेजेस एज पर द आइडियाज ले डाउन बाय महात्मा गांधी माया इज मोटिवेटिंग एंड अट्रैक्टिंग यूथ इन एग्रीकल्चर सो सेटिंग अप एग्री सर्विस सेंटर्स फॉर कस्टम हायरिंग एंड प्रमोटिंग स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स टू प्रोवाइड दैम अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड अ स्ट्रैटेजी वेयर फिजिकल एंड ऑनलाइन मार्केट सेल्स कुड बी मेड पॉसिबल अनदर इज स्टूडेंट रेडी विच इज रूरल एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप अवेयरनेस डेवलपमेंट योजना विच इज लॉन्च इन ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन द आइडिया इज टू एनकरेज स्टूडेंट्स टू स्टार्ट देयर ओन फर्म्स रादर देन बिकमिंग जॉब सीकर दे शुड बिकम जॉब गिवर्स एंड वी हैव नियरली फिफ्टी फाइव एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटीज दैट हैव कम अप इन लाइन विद दिस रॉ इज वन ऑफ द प्रोग्राम्स दैट हैज बीन स्टार्टेड विच इज रूरल अवेयरनेस वर्क एक्सपीरियंस नाउ दिस टॉक्स अबाउट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ वेरियस प्रोजेक्ट्स रिलेटेड टू फूड टेक्नोलॉजी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी ट्रेडिशन disciplines and so on icar has been working on national agriculture higher education project across various agricultural universities we have started with agricultural universities and now we have nearly 63 state universities four deemed three central uh, agricultural universities and four central universities which have faculties with agriculture courses nascom report has shown that there are more than 450 agricultural startups that have started and these are growing at a rate of 25% on an year to year basis which is significantly high proportion now what are the techniques that could be employed drone technology for example recently there was a lo locust attack and for that locust attack drone technologies was used similarly internet of things iot devices uh, ict automations in farming units remote sensing data analytics artificial intelligence has become important recently government has given a plan of privatizing uh, the system where the data could be used the um, from the survey of india and other portals without any licensure so this would help bring in more developments in the agricultural sector as well so agri india hackathon 2020 aim to accelerate the innovation in agriculture has been released we have numerous uh, support where pre seed and seed stage fundings have been given youth have been encouraged now if we talk about the beginning of the third decade of 21st century we have a population with a median age of 28 years however this is 38 years for united states 42 for china and 48 for japan that means india has a significantly higher proportion of youth whose energy could be well utilized so to gain the ability authority and agency is really really important so rural folks must work for education and training purposes and should get the basic system and services available now national youth policy 2014 aims to bring in areas of education development into account and bring in more youth for inculcation and uh, in, uh, basically engagement in various activities when it comes to education nishta is one of the important schemes we have covered a separate lecture on that uh, this talks about school teachers holistic advancement programs where nearly 4.2 million teachers would be trained similarly we have nabard which is one of the major banks in the country for promoting self help groups joint liability and tenant farmers uh, then bringing in new education policy and developments under that would bring in vocational options vibrant knowledge hubs quality affordability and accountability in education also we are talking about the needs to translate the kofi annan's word which says young people should be at the forefront of global innovation and global change so all of us would be improvised if the society's margins are left alone so we need to bring in all people into one line before we start and resume our services now if we talk about various sectors fit india movement has been started central government spendings have been increased significantly on education skill development and employment we are bringing to address various issues of connectivity internet facilities learning platforms and preparedness for learners also we are talking about various allied activities where we are trying to bring in or increase the gross uh, income similarly animal husbandry is one of the major sectors in rural area we are one of the largest milk producers uh, in terms of per capita availability as against the world average which is nearly 100 grams per day less than the india's average 
19% of the total milk production comes from India. Horticulture again, India ranks second in fruits and vegetable production next to China. We rank first in uh, crops like banana, papaya, mango, lemon, ginger and okra uh, which is lady finger. Then we have uh, the mission for integrated development of horticulture which is a centrally sponsored scheme started in 2014 which aims to bring in sectors like spices, aromatic plants, cashew nuts, coconuts, bamboo, saffron are some of the major crops. Then talking about different segments, floriculture is where we are talking about commercial production of flowers and how the production has increased over the years and the major uh, agri export zones for floriculture have been established in which states are important. Then apiculture is where we are talking about extraction of honey, uh, bee wax or pollens. Uh, there are numerous bee colonies in India and the potential is much more higher. Then we have various submissions that are related to it which focuses on processing, storage and marketing, pre-processing and post-harvesting facilities. Sericulture is basically for silk worms where we have four commercially known brands which are Mulberry, Eri, Tassar and Munga. And then we have seen how the silk production has significantly improved and has brought in employment for around 9 to 10 million uh, people in India. There have been anti-dumping duties that have been imposed on the raw silk that is being imported from China recently. So we have the Silk Samragya scheme which was started in 2007 aims to improve the production and the quality of the domestic silk. Agro processing unit we have seen processing of food but processing of food is only 2% in India in contrast to nearly 80% in United States. So definitely a huge uh, amount needs to be taken into account and lot of development needs to go into it. The next is Pradhan Mantri Krishi Samp Kisan Sampada Yojana which talks about an efficient supply chain for processed food industries which brings in more employment, more export uh, opportunities for rural youth. Uh, also we are talking about water and tourism as one of the sectors that could be developed. So making uh, the rural India open defecation free plus plus status food security, checking out the water contamination, bringing in uh, or removing the persistent limits of toxins that are there, Jal Jeevan mission and identifying and training nearly 5 women in every village is one of the important efforts. When it comes to tourism sector, uh, we have had a severe setback to the tourism industry post COVID. However, there have been uh, various de destinations that have been demarcated, which could be rural, religious, adventure or nature friendly. Nearly 50 million jobs have been lost, which were related to tourism and vacations. Now, some of the initiatives under government are Dekho Apna Desh, uh, which talks about the domestic tourism. We have education tourism. Uh, some of the opportunities for employment include Sankalp scheme started in 2018, Udan scheme for the students from Jammu Kashmir funded by the Ministry of Home Affairs, where educated youth uh, are given employment opportunities. STAR scheme talks about certification and monetary rewards and encouraging a kind of development for training programs. AVST which is advanced vocational training scheme is again an important scheme. We have seen various parameters for employment. These focus on food insecurity, nutrition, education, skill upgradation and so on and so forth. There has been focus on precision farming which mainly focuses on uh, the topics like green farming, then we have greenhouse developments checking in bio pesticides, bio fertilizers, micro irrigation facilities. Uh, then we have opportunities in fishery centers where cage, uh, cage culture, ornamental fisheries are some of the major developments that have been seen. Also, if we talk about some other schemes, uh, Kaushal Vikas Yojana is mainly for uh, developing the youth, training nearly 10 million youth. State schemes are there which are Utkarsh Bangla scheme in West Bengal, placement linked skill development in Assam, Surya scheme in Haryana and so on and so forth. So these are linked to uh, employment generation and skill development. The list of those have been given here. The next is apprenticeship. Now we are trying to provide short courses, short learning programs for various uh, aspects. For example, 
packaging warehousing storage uh, transportation retail uh, technology sensitive courses so a person can self register at naps portal and get the apprenticeship program from 6 months to 3 years also industry has been coming into support there are numerous entrepreneurs coming up uh, so venture capitalists moving into the sector and recognition of prior learning has been given very very high importance there are numerous fund groups that have come forward for skill development and uh, increasing the capability also when it comes to the rural artisans skill reskill and upskill are the three important motives the pahchan initiative talks about training the organized sectors mainly in handicraft the variety of handicraft that is popular in india includes clay pottery silverware rock shell woods and so on and so forth so we have numerous schemes related to skill development which talks about the kaushal vikas yojana aspire scheme for innovation and entrepreneurship sphurti scheme for regeneration of the traditional lost arts that have been there mahila choir scheme for training women artisans for choir processing activities workshed for assistance to bpl families through khadi institutions and khadi spinning wheels trifid which is uh, assistance to tribal cooperations which is there to help them sell their products then handicrafts with gi tag have become world uh, famous which includes madhubani paintings from bihar bronze wares from karnataka fulkari from punjab and so on and so forth ustad scheme talks about upgrading the existing art and skills this program was launched in 2015 as a centrally sponsored schemes so minus minorities have been brought into mainstream and arts men uh, arts person and craftsmen have been developed through hunar hat where their art and their training have been been given individual uh, tribal groups and uh, uh, minority groups have been trained under hunar hat skill india program has brought into existence various sub sectors for example paper mesh stone ware wood ware and so on so odisha government has brought about a similar initiative for golden grass craft work uh, kendrapara block in kendrapara is one of the centers for it national handicraft development program has aimed to bring in development for uh, the various uh, schemes for artisans dakshtar uh, saksha karita karan yojana which talks about the hast shilp uh, vikas yojana aims to mobilize the self help groups and the societies so it's a uh, workshop that runs for nearly 25 days to bring in the traditional uh, taste closer to the contemporary market demands and then we have various generic schemes for handicraft sector which talks about resource development research programs hast shilp programs technology upgradation sabka saath sabka vikas as in development scheme and then also goal program which is important which has come up with uh, tribe ministry of tribal affairs and facebook aim to encourage rural and tribal youth through digital mode for entrepreneurship for tribal art tribal culture and so on so bringing in uh, or bridging the gap between the rural urban segments bringing in skill development employment opportunities promoting digital learning and digital development and when it comes to agriculture smart agriculture where precision marketing livestock poultry uh, dairy apiculture sericulture floriculture horticulture could be developed and then agricultural drones ict iot uh, smart farming techniques precision farming techniques could be brought into account we have covered a separate class where we have focused on how israel uh, mohave desert Mojave Desert has been working exceptionally good for the same, and similarly improving the social structure for rural youth, which talks about quality healthcare, connectivity, good transport and communication, and better self confidence that could be seen. So this was about the Kurukshetra February edition. We would be covering many more interesting lectures for you. Stay tuned. Have a wonderful day ahead.